In this video, we'll cover how to operate the FlowLogic system from the local control panel featuring systems sold since 2021. If you have a system installed prior to 2021, we'll note the minor differences for your system on the screen. The FlowLogic system's command and control is local to the system, allowing it to fully operate without the app-enabling Connect Wi-Fi module and independent of an internet connection. When the Connect Wi-Fi module is connected, all changes made from the control panel are reflected on the app and vice versa. FlowLogic catches leaks by recognizing continuous water flow that exceeds the flow time allowances of the home or away modes. Normal water use comes in starts and stops, whereas leaks cause abnormal continuous flow events. The panel screen will indicate the system mode and settings. The home, away, and bypass buttons change the system modes respectively. To disable the system's flow monitoring, press the Disable button followed by the Accept Exit button. When water is flowing at or above the flow sensitivity level, also called the drip rate, you will see a pinwheel graphic rotating on the screen indicating a flow event is being monitored. When the flow stops, the pinwheel disappears and the timer resets. When water flows constantly for longer than the mode settings allow, the water is shut off automatically and an audible beep emits from the control panel. Pressing the Disable button silences the alarm, and pressing the Home button turns the water back on. To check or change your settings, enter the Program mode by pressing the Program button. Press the Next Bypass button to advance to the next setting. When you wish to adjust a setting, use the up and down arrow buttons. To save a new setting, press the Accept Exit button. The drip rate setting is the flow sensitivity in ounces per minute. The default setting is 2 ounces per minute, meaning when water flows at or above this rate, it is monitored and the timer begins. Flow below the drip rate setting is not monitored. The home mode has a default continuous flow allowance of 30 minutes and can be adjusted up to 3 hours. When adjusting the home flow allowance, note that washing machines only use water for short intervals that are well within the default time of 30 minutes. The away mode has a default time of 30 seconds. Note that when you enter the away mode, the valve will do an auto cycle rotation as a means to exercise the ball valve and ensure operation, but the valve remains open. The away mode settings can be configured to shut off the water and the flow time can be extended. When making a settings change, don't forget to save it by pressing the accept exit button. The delay away mode temporarily holds a system in the home mode once the away mode is prompted. This is used by those who wish to enter the away mode when they leave a property while they have a dishwasher that's running. A delay away of 60 minutes will hold a system in the home mode for an hour before automatically going to away. Bypass mode suspends all flow monitoring and is used for times when you need to have extended continuous water use, such as to manually fill a pool. The bypass mode default time is 2 hours and can be programmed up to 23 hours. When you enter the bypass mode, the previous mode of home or away automatically reactivates once the bypass mode time expires. The auto away mode is a feature that looks for an extended period of no water use for greater than 10 seconds, which prompts the system to automatically go into away mode. Auto away is default set at 18 hours. When the auto away is activated, a periodic beep from the control panel will remind you that the system is in away mode, so you remember to go back into home mode when you return to the property. Auto away can indicate if a system ever has an issue with flow detection, so it's recommended to keep it turned on. The mode can be adjusted, so up to 30 days of no water use is required before auto away is activated. The sound on mode indicates the control panel will make audible beeps, such as when an auto shutoff has occurred, or when the auto away mode is activated. The power mode is set at AC plus battery, which is the recommended setting for most users, unless you are using solar energy or removing the backup battery. Press the accept exit button to exit the settings mode. To see the real-time flow rate when the system is in the home mode, Press the Home button to display any flow occurring from a half ounce up to 48 ounces per minute. Flow occurring above 48 ounces is indicated by the words High Flow. To reboot the system after a battery change or to clear uncommon error codes, 
press and hold the down arrow button until the beeping stops, then release. The system should reboot within several seconds and the valve will auto cycle. This concludes the video. For more user tips, see the support page at flowlogic.com.